Hello, and thank you for participating in a Fox Run virtual event. My name is Allison Murphy, and I am the Director of Sales. Today with me, I have Dr. Vrinda Suneja, who is over our medical center here at Fox Run. And we wanted to do a special edition to talk a little bit about health and safety at Fox Run, what's been happening in the time of corona, and how we've kept our residents safe. So, Dr. Suneja, thank you so much for being here with me today. Absolutely. Thank you, Allison. It's a pleasure to be here. So one of the things that we've been receiving calls about that residents want to know, um, just talk a little bit about the safety protocols that we've had in place for residents during this interesting time. Absolutely. Um, we have certainly, all of us, lived through very interesting times since the beginning of this year. And uh, I have been at Fox Ron for 17 years. And I can say I have never felt more confident in our ability to take care of things as they need to be taken care of during a heavy pandemic responsibility that we have had to shoulder at Fox Run. Um, to start with how we began our planning process, where our community has not escaped unscathed from COVID, we have been very successful in our efforts in mitigation and prevention of the disease here on campus. And it was all a result of deliberate planning, frequent communication, and availability of resources that we have by virtue of being a large company with a very well-defined organizational structure. So um, even before we started seeing cases of COVID-19 here in the immediate geographic community, we started to meet on a daily basis, all the leaders here at Fox Run, along with key leaders at our home office. And we described how the disease might impact not just our residents, but also our employees. And how would we plan to continue delivering the services that our residents need? And how would we prevent the entrance of the virus into the community? And should the virus enter the community, how could we reduce the spread of the virus through our community? So we put together proactively teams of contact tracers. Our procurement departments made sure that our staff had adequate personal protective equipment and processes around infection control with frequent cleanings of the campus, as well as as the pandemic evolved, we took care of our residents in their apartments, making sure that residents did not have to come out to common areas to get access to key goods and services. And I lived through that as well as a, a member of the executive team, um, just watching the command control of the thoughtfulness, um, thinking through virus control, thinking about employees, thinking about the residents, family members, how people were gonna get goods and services. Um, and I feel like our response to the pandemic is something that, that I well up with pride over. The, how this community came together and how everyone responded to keep residents safe was just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I agree, and I have to say our residents were a huge part of why we did as well as we did because our residents have been extremely supportive extremely understanding very resilient and they have never lost a moment to show their appreciation for what they see staff doing day in and day out going above and beyond what used to be job descriptions in and time before the pandemic hit and our employees have been amazing they have volunteered and stepped up to take on duties very different from their original duties. I agree. Talk to us a little bit about the medical center because people, um, part of what they love about Fox Run is just knowing that there is a medical center here that during normal times, if somebody came down with an illness, they can see a physician. Um, tell me a little bit about how that changed during the time of COVID and how we're, um, we're handling that now. Sure. Uh, at the medical center, we have been geared towards providing primary care as well as same day care for urgent issues for a very long time. We're staffed with four different primary care providers and we have had podiatry as well as mental health and social work services available within the medical center. In the usual times, we would see residents in our offices by appointment and take care of their health care needs whether they be physicals or follow-up appointments or urgent appointments. But as we needed to monitor our own infection control processes, and as we wanted to reduce the fact that there may be gatherings within our waiting room, 
we very quickly were able to change our model of care to accommodate same day visits as well as health maintenance visits to happen over the phone, either with the video connection or even without video. And this for residents who were feeling healthy and feeling well. For those of our residents that were feeling unwell, we have made arrangements throughout the last many months, whether weekdays or weekends, we have been able to have a medical provider visit a resident in their apartment in full personal protective equipment, taking all possible infection control measures to do any kind of examination, testing, and even provide treatment within their apartments. Not only did the medical center functions change, but we have an on-site pharmacy where they would always be willing to deliver to resident apartments whenever asked, but the pharmacy, with the help of staff at Fox Run, took on the burden of delivering all resident medications twice a day to resident apartments. So that was a huge lift. And our social worker, who is a licensed master social worker, with the help of our mental health provider, for those residents who were struggling with the impact of isolation, and needed those services. We were able to meet them either by telehealth or within their apartments. And so now what we're seeing on campus as the shelter in place orders changed from the governor and restrictions were lifted, we're starting to see life at Fox Run resume. Driving in today, I saw 10 people out walking, either walking dogs right. or walking with friends. I see people gardening. I saw residents on the pickleball court the other day. Um, you know, what would you say to people now that things are changing and we're, we're learning to live with COVID-19? Do you think that that changes any reason why someone should move into a retirement community such as Fox Run? Absolutely. Um, the pandemic is still ongoing and we are still being very careful about visiting each other, our friends. But what Fox Run provides to our residents is safe social distance spaces in the outdoors, in the indoors. And it provides our residents with ways to control infection while they're gathering in small groups. None of us can stop being careful. So even when our residents gather, they make sure that they're six feet apart from each other. Um, our residents have access to appropriate face coverings. And not only that, they have been able to get together with family members a few at a time. And where life at Fox Run never really came to a standstill because our residents really sought out unique opportunities to connect with each other over the phone, we have community television that we use to keep our residents well informed of what was going on. We put on some programs, which again, one of our licensed master social workers was instrumental that help residents with relaxation, tips as to how to get through your day without getting too bored. But now that life is resumed and we're slowly getting back to normal, we hope that people will take every opportunity they can due to the safe campus at Fox Run to socialize in an appropriate manner. So in your opinion, you've worked at Fox Run 17 years. Why should someone move here now? Oh goodness, I could go through so many <laughs> reasons. Um, first of all, and not talking about infection control, but you are going to be with your peer groups that have gone through similar life experiences as you. That kind of social interaction is so rare to find when somebody lives in their own home. Not only that, when the pandemic was in full force in March and April, our residents never had to go out searching for what were determined to be necessities in the world outside Fox Run. Um, I've seen my own family members worry, you know, are they going to have access to toilet paper? <laughs> Where can they find soap? Where can they find hand sanitizer? Do they feel safe going to a grocery store to have food to prepare at home? Our residents never had to worry about that. And uh, I think it gave me peace of mind coming to work every day, knowing that I had a very safe workplace and our residents are going to have access to the same safety in terms of infection control. And I agree with that statement. I would have people say to me all the time, what do you mean you're going to work? Nobody's going to work right now. And I said, yes, we're, we're going to work. We're serving people. And never once did I feel unsafe. I always felt like Fox Run was its own little microcosm or a little bubble. 
and um, we had so many safety measures in place that I always felt safe coming to work. Um, in fact, it was the joy of my day when, when you turn on the news and everything seems so scary. I would come here and hear the birds chirping and see smiling people and uh, behind the mask you can see smiling eyes. So um, I always felt safe coming to work every day. And Absolutely. I know that residents shared that same thing with me. Absolutely. Well, I, I'd like to transition and pivot. Dr. Sinija, thank you so much for your time today. You. Um, we value your opinion. And I know that priority list members out there, if you have questions, concerns um, from the pandemic or anything medical, you can call our office and we can be in touch with Dr. Sinesia at any time. But I would like to pivot and bring the perspective of a real resident who lived here during this time and get some of his perspective. So with me, I have resident John Blum, who we go way back now. Um, John and Rosie did a combo apartment to create something a little bit larger here at Fox Run. Um, so we've worked together a, a quite a bit in the past, but I, I thank you for being with us today. And what I'd really love to do is to just get a resident's perspective during this time. So John, just tell me a little bit about your experience of life at Fox Run during the coronavirus. I moved to Fox Run for many reasons, one of which was the many social activities. I was impressed before moving in when I came to an event where we got to meet all the different clubs and find out what was going on here. So I thought maybe when the pandemic came, I wouldn't be as happy that I had moved to Fox Run because all those social activities were limited. But I'm even more happy to live at Fox Run during the pandemic than I was when there wasn't a pandemic because I feel safe here. Safety is certainly on everyone's mind all the time and especially during a pandemic. But Fox One has kept us safe and I feel more comfortable here than I could possibly feel in my own home. I had residents say to me, um, or I shouldn't say residents, but people from the outside thinking about Fox Run, well, everyone's on lockdown. And my response to that was, that we'd all been asked to shelter in place. Whether you lived at Fox Run or you lived in a house, everyone was asked to shelter in place. So it wasn't any different at Fox Run, but talk to me about that, that phrase, lockdown. Did you ever feel like you were locked down at Fox Run? No, I've never been locked down. I would be locked down if I was in my house because I'd be afraid to go out to the grocery store. At Fox Run, I don't have to worry about the grocery store. The groceries come to me. Uh, when we moved to Fox Run, they told us that a one meal is included every day, so we'd be getting dinner every day. But Fox Run generously has supplied us all the food we need for all of our meals for the day during the pandemic. And they bring them to our door. Every three days, we get three days worth of food and we have plenty to eat. We never had to go to the grocery store through the entire pandemic. That is pretty amazing. And, and for those priority list members who don't know the full detail of what transpired here, um, part of what we set up was a concierge service through our own marketplace. And if a resident needed shampoo, they needed toilet paper, they needed Nabisco cookies, they could call the concierge line like a delivery service, almost like our own Amazon, if you will. And grocery items could be delivered to residents. But in addition to that, food, this, the standard dining rooms, um, we had our dining rooms shift operations into a meal delivery service. So as John mentioned, every three days, we deliver three days worth of food for a resident that could be um, reheated in their microwave and um, included three meals a day with snacks and, and things like that. Um, but what about other things? Did you have packages delivered during this time? Well, I was amazed to find Allison in my hallway one day delivering packages to us. So I didn't have to go down to pick up my mail. I didn't have to touch anything. I think she was a little overqualified, <laughs> but she went far beyond her normal duties and couldn't do as much as she might have liked to do in sales. So she was being our concierge and bringing things to our doorstep. We were all repurposed um, in, at Fox Run, and so the sales office ran concierge, we ran mail service, and then delivery service. So if family members dropped something off, or if Amazon packages came, UPS, whatever, we physically ran them up to a thousand apartments, um, and we were right at the doorstep. So I would knock on the door and deliver packages, and there I'd be, delivering mail or packages or whatever that needed to take place. How, how have your spirits been? You know, with you and Rosie um, in the apartment, how have your spirits been since you've been? We've been happy. We uh, 
would rather be out there socializing with all our Fox Run friends, but we have kept in touch with them by phone and FaceTime and Zoom. Uh, another resident and I together set up a Slack chat room, which is a place online where people can type back and forth, and we have a lot of people passing messages back and forth on that every day. Uh, Kern's Corner was a meeting room where people in our building used to meet together every Thursday morning and we've taken that online so on Thursday mornings we all meet together and type back and forth to each other instead of getting to meet in person. Well we thought we were doing this as something we would do to help out our fellow residents but it was the biggest help to us because we got to talk to all these people. We made many new friends over the phone, some of whom we've never even met in person and were anxious to get together with them as the pandemic comes to a, a halt eventually. What do you think the general feeling of residents here has been? Um, you know, if you had to sum up and, and be the voice of the resident population, how do you think that, that the other residents here felt during this time? Well, there's a lot of variation. I think many residents were able to keep in touch with their friends and relatives by phone and uh, by video and online, but some did feel lonely in their apartments and I think we were able to help those people by talking to them and reaching out to them. I think nobody has to be alone at Fox Run whether there's a pandemic or not. That's right, that's right. And then tell me a little bit, you know, when you and Rosie came to the community, you integrated even before you moved in. So I would walk down the hallway and see John and Rosie here while their apartment was being constructed at Fox Run and I would see them walking down the hall and they hadn't even moved in yet. But tell me about your integration into campus and the, the types of things that you got involved in. Well, I'm not sure what laws and rules we were breaking here, <laughs> but Rosie and I used to sneak into Fox Run all the time. <laughs> and uh, eventually Mike saw us uh, with our paper homemade name tags and <laughs> said uh, he was going to have real name tags made for us even though we didn't live here yet because we were coming so often. We we're so happy with all the social events and getting to meet people at Fox Run that we just couldn't wait and we were coming to events before moving in and getting to meet new people and making new friends. And then once we moved in, it's just amazing how welcoming every resident is at Fox Run. Even way back at my first visit to Fox Run, when I had my tour with Carolyn from the sales department, I was amazed that when you walk down the hall at Fox Run, every single resident says hi to you. You cannot pass anybody without a friendly smile at Fox Run. And you don't see that in the outside world. You can walk down the street and people can knock you over. But here at Fox Run, everybody is happy to see you. Everybody is welcoming. Every staff person, every resident, everyone has a name tag on. So when I forget their names, I can look down and see who they are and pretend that I remember what their name was. It's just the most happy, welcoming, friendly place ever. And I do think it's it's something it's palpable. When you walk in, we, we hear that all the time when somebody comes to visit our community they say that. You, it just feels different. There's a feeling to the campus and it's not manufactured. It's, it's something that's cultural. And I find myself out in the world talking to strangers all the time. I open doors, hi, how are you? And people are looking at me as though I'm a crazy person, but it's just cultural here. It's what we do. It's how it's always been done. And I find when people move into the community, it's one of the great joys of living at Fox Run, knowing that people care about you and that you're never alone and there's always something to do or a friendly voice or just even a, a hello in the hallway can make the difference in your day. It's funny that you say that about the culture at Fox Run. I remember before the pandemic back in the day when I used to go to the grocery store that I would walk in the store and I'd start saying hi to people in the grocery store <laughs> aisle and they'd look at me and they didn't know what to do or what to say because I forgot I wasn't at Fox Run where every person is my friend and everyone is saying hi to everyone. Yes, I agree. I do the same thing all the time. I do. I did it today. Um, but what would you say then to priority list members who are still in their homes? And we hear it. People say, well, I'm not ready yet. It's a typical catch-all of either maybe I'm scared or I think it's going to be something that it's not or I'm afraid to give up independence. You know, you and Rosie are young, active, highly engaged, highly involved, very connected people. What made you decide to move to Fox Run without a need to move? Well, there were, initially, there were the things that we didn't like about our house. Having to walk up and down the stairs and having to take care of the house and something's always breaking and it's another expense. So initially it was just, oh look, I can get rid of all those problems by moving to a place like this. But, uh, when we were thinking about that, we were thinking, well, maybe I'll move in a few years, just like all my friends are saying when I tell them that you ought to move now. 
But then we came to know Fox Run by visiting and by coming to sales events, and we found out that we should not be waiting. I remember once I decided to look up my life expectancy online and I said, well, <laughs> geez, if I've got that many years all, is all I've got left, I ought to be spending them in an enjoyable place like Fox Run, not waiting a few years and passing more of those years alone in my house. I love that. That's a really great perspective. And so even now in the time that we are now with, with the pandemic still here and, and something that we think is going to be here for a little while longer, um, would you tell other people to move to Fox Run? Now's the time to move to Fox Run. This is the safest place that you can be. When you're living out there in the outside world, you've got to go to the grocery store and buy your groceries here, the food comes to us. When you're living out there, you're encountering all your friends who are not following the rules, they're not socially distancing, they're not wearing masks. Here, people are doing the right thing. They're protecting each other. We care about our fellow residents. We wear our masks, we stay far apart. This is the safest place that you can be during the pandemic. I love that, I love to hear that. So any other final words, if you had to, to look into the eyes of a priority list member and say, you know, move now, I mean, what, would you have any other parting words for people? Well, I don't look into their eyes these days <laughs> because they're on the phone, but I talk to people frequently, my friends and my relatives, and tell them why they ought to move to Fox Run. I get the usual, oh, I'm gonna move in a few years, or I'm not ready, the same problem that you have. But I tell them, this is the time that you ought to be here. This is the time you should be enjoying your life. You shouldn't be taking care of your house and worrying about your friends and worrying about your house. This is the time you should be meeting new people, meeting, uh, be getting together with new friends, old friends, having a great time. And we can do that during the pandemic and we can do that when there's not a pandemic. I, I just agree. love to live at Fox Run. Good, well thank you so much for being with us. And I would encourage anyone who's watching this video and you're still considering Fox Run, our sales office is open. Uh, we have safety protocols, we have social distancing in place, um, but we would love for you to still come on to campus. There's many things open, a lot of things to see. Um, we have some beautiful, beautiful apartments that we've been preparing right now. So please consider coming and, and visiting us and, and seeing a part of our campus. Um, and if you have any questions, you can call the sales office at 248-926-5200. Set up an appointment. Um, we'd be happy to also meet you wherever you are. And I mean that virtually. If you don't feel comfortable coming out to the community just yet, we can always do Zoom calls, online phone calls, um, lots of ways to meet your needs. So let us help and uh, talk to Fox Run and learn a little bit more. So John, thank you again for being with us today and we hope to see you all soon.